I, I, when I was growing up, I, I really looked forward to, to getting a guitar, to getting, uh, you know, for, I've got a piece of shit, like a, a, a harmony or something. And then, you know, when I got my first Fender, that was great. And, you know, when I could figure out my, my, my you know, the, the F chord, and that was like, I really felt like I was getting somewhere. Now it's all this. And, and people got to get away from, from, from the digital. really uh, un-rock friendly market at the time. It was virtually impossible to get a record deal. And, uh, you know, I honestly think in London at that time, I don't think even, they, I don't think they would have signed ACDC or Guns N' Roses. I just, that, that just wasn't what they were into. It was, they, it was, it was very family oriented, oriented music. Um, and, uh, I realized, you know, I had to get out. There was, there was nothing I could do. There was, you know, it didn't matter, you know, unless like radically change and, and form some, a band like Duran Duran or something. And I didn't want to do that. Um, so, you know, I set my sights on the States and, and uh, I was friends with a guy called Alan Jones in London who had a couple of stores out here on Melrose Avenue really really happening around that time like 85 86 uh, and he had a couple of guys working in the store that were always late always on the phone never sold anything so he fired them he fired them, you guys have got to go and they were like all right all right we, we understand but because they were working on the band the whole time and this was like early LA guns and uh, they had some problems with their singer at the time and they said, you know, everything's going great, but we really need a new singer and, and uh, you know, and, and my name came up and, and they said, do you know, and he goes, oh, I know Phil really well. And Tracy and Guns and Mick were like, are you kidding? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I'll give him a call right now. So Alan called me, he goes, would you be interested in coming out? And I said, yeah. He said, well, how soon could you come? I said, well, how about tomorrow? <laughs> so I literally I did, I got on a plane the next day and grabbed my suit of basically a hairdryer and, and a couple of hundred bucks and got on a jet and I, I didn't plan on I didn't have any kind of plan I didn't know how long I was going to be here but wow when I got here I, I, I died and gone to heaven I mean I was here in uh, April 86 and it was absolutely at the height of its its, its debauchery um, but uh, oh my god it was so much fun you know the cat house they had so many you know bar sinister and and um they had just there was basically a different party every night and uh it, it was just so much fun and uh, the band were great and i loved the music and and they wanted me to you know get involved in the writing and it was you know I, it was it was it was the the, the greatest thing without a doubt that ever happened to me. And I had some pretty amazing things happen to me, but that was, that was a really special time. Uh, and then uh, we were, we got our record, about six months after I came out, we got signed to Polygram. And uh, we started recording our record down at the Village Recorder in Santa Monica. And Tracy and I used to pick up the bus just down the road here. And it was a long, slow bus drive, but it was perfect for writing lyrics. And I had like the old Walkman, and I'd be like writing lyrics and working them out, getting to the studio, and, and that was it. That was the beginning of it. Well, you know, it was. It, I could see it coming. I, you know, they really, really diluted it. You know, like MTV were really going crazy on the big hair, the big teeth, and the, you know, like it was. It, you know, we were never. We were. We were like, you know, like black hair, like leather jackets. You know, a bit dirty, a bit dangerous, and it was getting really fluffy. You know, I mean, like the warrants and the poisons, and you know, good luck to them. You know, they were. They were selling millions of records and, and making people happy but uh, once again 
like the new wave of British heavy metal, I felt that we were it, it, we were in the wrong crowd. Uh, and when it did go down, we went down with it. The scene, the rock scene, the metal scene in LA became very diluted. There were new bands coming out, and they weren't very good. And it was principally on the way they looked, and uh, so it, it didn't take long for something real, real, uh, like like a, a singer-songwriter with, with you know basic simple. You know what I'm going to say, right? I'm going to go Cobain, Nirvana. It took something like that so that people could relate to the music again because it it, it became you know we were all like. Marie Antoinette, you know, we were like in a different, different world, you know, and, and uh, that's, a, that's a terrible thing, terrible when you, you dis disenfranchise your audience, uh, and that's what happened. When we got dropped, uh, jury, we were recording Vicious Circle, um, and that must have been about 90, 95 or so. Um, and I, I moved to Austin. I thought I'd give Texas a shot because because LA was, you know, was not the place to be. It was like the scene was dead. So I thought I'd go and see what Texas was about. And I stayed for a year, but it was too hot and big bugs, or <laughs> horrible insects. So I came back, and and at that point, you know, I'd, I'd had a kid. So uh, I got a real job. I, I started working over at Fox. Uh, I was a, uh, a, an editor at Fox Sports, actually, um, and I figured, well, that figured that's it. That's what it's going to be. You know, I had I had my run. That was it. Was a great time. I, you know, and I'll always look back at it fondly. And then I was getting calls from the guys. Hey, you know, we want to put the band back together. You know, we got a record deal. Would you be interested? And I was like. No, are you kidding? We're never going to get that back, you know. Um, but I, I, they said we'll just do a couple of shows. Let's see. Let's. let's but they've been offered to record an album, which we did, and, and it wasn't very good because we hadn't been together for a long time. It was basically everyone's ideas off the top of their heads. Let's let's make a record. But um, you know, I enjoyed being back on the road a lot. I enjoyed the touring, um, and so that was in like. 2000 and I thought well I'll give it a, see how it goes and still here <laughs> 